back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. We're back with the Model A here. I want to go ahead and apologize for the problems with the will it start video on this. Uh, we had to end up re-uploading the video for them, but uh, I don't know what to tell you. I haven't got an answer on what was wrong with it, but there was an issue and now it's fixed. So if you didn't see the will it start video on this, go back and check it out. I think it was one of our better videos we ever made. It just didn't get seen by a lot of people because of the problems we had at the beginning. But anyway, today we're going to be uh, working just a little bit on this Model A and then taking it back to my grandpa to deliver it to him. Uh, he owned this car since 1977. It's a 1928 Model A two-door sedan. Uh, got the four-cylinder, three-speed like they all had. Um, but what we're going to do first, we're going to set the ignition timing on this thing and uh, get it where it's supposed to be, do a little test drive, and then we're gonna take it back to my grandpa and let him drive it for the first time in 17 or 18 years. Well, we got something in the mail today. I bought the wrench to time this thing. So before I deliver this thing back to him, I'm gonna go ahead and time it with this wrench. So this thing will be spot on when he gets it back. So we gotta take this pin out of the front of the engine and turn it around the other way and get it in the dimple on the cam gear, just like we did before. So now you turn the engine over till it drops in that dimple right here. And that way you know your top dead center number one. You should see it drop in the dimple right there. See it? Right there, we're dropped in the dimple. So we've got the, uh, the arm all the way up on the left side. It looks like we're quite a ways off with our timing according to this, because this is supposed to be pointing at this cylinder. So we're gonna loosen this up, give it a turn and point at this and we should be timed then. All right, we're gonna try to loosen this just a little bit, if I can get in there. All right, so it's loose. We're gonna take the slop out of the system here. And right there, we should be timed. That's quite a bit off. We got dad down here today. Dad was just a kid when this thing was bought by his dad, my grandpa. So you, you were how old? I was, uh, it's 1977, so I was 16. I came back from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, from the National Soul Judging Contest. Soul Judging Soul Contest. Soul Judging Contest for Oldham County, Tennessee, and this was in the driveway. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Did you get to drive it when you were 16? Yeah, I'm sure I did. I don't remember how much, but yeah. That's pretty neat. Starts any better now that we've adjusted the timing a little bit because before we were having to pull the timing down pretty far to get it to crank. So, some of you guys were saying that it was 1928 only that had the red steering wheel. I wasn't aware of that. So, in theory, this should start at a higher position now, and we ought to have more ignition advance when we're driving down the road. It should have a little more power going down the road. So it's actually been a couple weeks since uh, me and dad set the timing on this thing. We're gonna crank it up now and actually take it for a road drive to see how much better it does. It was really wanting to uh, kind of bog in third gear before. And I'm hoping that with the uh, timing adjustment, it'll give us some more power. So we're gonna go a turn out on this, pull the choke up, ignition on, fuel on, probably should have done that first. Uh, Timing, all the way retarded, a little bit of throttle. There you go.
full third gear at all before. We're practically passing people now. Yeah, it's pulling this hill fine now in third. It's doing a lot better. I, I saw it leaking some water. I don't know. It must just have been a little bit of over full because I don't see anything wrong now. Somebody stopped us and said we were leaking a bunch of water, but I don't see anything. I, mean, I see a little bit, but not much. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just over full. some water down here but I think that's just out of the overflow it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like normally hot I, it definitely looks like it just pushed some past the uh, overflow I think we're fine so my my grandpa when we went and picked this up he said he aired these casings up with an old bicycle pump so um, I want to put a little bit more air in, in this. I saw it was really low. Oh, for the safety of all parties involved, we're going to trailer this thing over there. Uh, basically because this is like a hundred year old car, has mechanical brakes. Uh, it has uh, casings that are older than me. So we're going to trailer this thing over there. Uh, I would hate to hurt this engine or something on a long trip like that. It's about a two hour drive from where we are to where my grandparents live, but I'm excited to get it back to him and let him drive this thing. Oh yeah, we got plenty of water. We just pushed out the extra. So my panic was for nothing? Yes, that's an accurate statement. We didn't get your panic on video. They wouldn't want to see it. <laughs> Let's get hooked up to the trailer here. I don't know how many lemon squeezes we are away from that trailer right now. Oh, he's squeezing lemons. Oh, oh, that way. Oh, he squeezed it there. Now, how many lemon squeezes were there between the truck and the trailer at the beginning there? I don't know. You don't, uh, you don't have a number on that? No. If 
felt like we were at least at least a dozen to 16 lemon squeezes between the truck and the trailer at the beginning of this. What do you say? That's probably accurate. I said 20. 20 lemon squeezes? Yeah. Oh, I was pretty far away. How are you two juvenile delinquents doing? Well, you're not juvenile, I guess. She's elderly. We got some new animal crackers for you. I know you love that. Just got this one casing on my trailer that will not hold enough air. And I just don't have enough in the envelope yet to put a new one on it. Fighting out of your way, class again. Rocky likes walking on a trailer. I don't know what it is about it, but he likes it. Come on, Ellie, you ain't driving. Come on. Oh, she's afraid of Rocky. She's like, you're supposed to be a herding dog. You're not supposed to be scared of goats. Come on. Come on. You messed up. Oh, no. Come on, Ellie. Come on, Ellie. There you go. Go feed your babies. I love it. Sounds like an old tractor. Isn't that funny? You can hear it's just like turning the distributor. It's kind of breaking up with too much advance there. And it's kind of breaking up with not enough. The, the higher the RPM you are, the more you, you skin her ears back. Also nice to haul a car that's 2,500 pounds instead of 5,500 pounds. There, honey, you're Lincoln. I'm sorry, you can't go with us. You're too stinky. Okay, it's nothing personal. It's just you smell bad. You're gonna miss them running boards, aren't you? I love the era of hot rodding where guys were taking the, the 32 Fords and Model A's and stuff and putting old, you know, Buick nail heads or Cadillac engines, the really early uh, overhead valve V8s. I just love that stuff and I feel like the people that appreciate that kind of hot rodding are dying off, you know? And they, I worry that younger guys like me don't even know about that, you know? Is there anything you're scared to climb on at all? Mm -hmm. Golly, death match. Well, it's the next morning. I got my morning voice on. We're gonna uh, crunk this thing up. I don't see Rooster says it's morning time too. We're gonna crunk this thing up and uh, get headed towards Grandpa and Grandma's house. We checked all our fluids and stuff. Look, the same way the Falcon has an auctioneer speedometer, this has got an auctioneer thermostat. Man, the bids are low today. 64, now five, now five, now two, who gives 62, now six. Now 69, now 70, now 65, 66. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Yes. Man, you got that hair going, girl. Looking nice. You be good, Rocky and Pebbles, okay? <laughs> Playing on your little play set out here, okay? All right, bye, Granny. <laughs> Bro, we're trying to video here. We got Scooty with us. He smells a little bit better than Rocky does. Uh, he likes to ride in the truck too, don't you, Skitty? What is it, Skitty? Hey, Ralphie. Yeah? Ralphie. I bought Paul uh, an owner's manual for his Model A. It tells you, like, <laughs> all the stuff you need to know when you bought a new Model A. It's weird. You gotta look at it.
cop they sent us. Love this thing. What do y'all want from Hardee's? Uh, egg and cheese biscuit. They don't have baby balls here. Did you just run up over the curb? Yeah, I ran over the curb, like, totally. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> Not good enough here. You like this bridge, Squeezy? You like this bridge? It's a big bridge, isn't it? And you gotta, you gotta park on it? Yeah, we might just pull over. <laughs> Get your hair fixed. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So, everybody's favorite cars of what we have. Uh, mine's the Fairmont. The 83 Fairmont's my favorite. Followed closely by the Falcon. Those are my top ones. Ralphie, what about you? Truck and the Fairmont. So truck's number one or Fairmont's number one? Equal. Okay. Squeezy? I guess the Fairmont. You like the Fairmont? Yeah. Wow. Okay. What about you, Wawa? I like the wagon. That's number one. The Fairmont is number two. The dark wagon? Yep. Okay. What about you, Mom? The track and the Metro Mart. The what? The track and the Metro Mart. Okay. The Metro Mart. Yeah. There is doing it for Dale. Look at that. Is that 31 1050s on that Crown Vic? Oh my God. Well, we pulled over about halfway there. Ralph, you want to do a bearing check on this thing? How do we check our bearings? Are they hot? No, not really. Our casing's hot. I think we're that one's good. Hotter. Yeah, the back one. That's the brake axle. You good? Yeah. Ralphie approved? Yeah. Oh, wait, that's a new one. We invented something. Have you ever went in a store without buying something? No. Ever? Like no. No. Can I eat something? Oh, look at that. That's love. You're welcome, Dad. I choose it for you. <laughs> we have definitely went over the river and through the woods in a grandpa's house we go but we're almost there now i'm super excited for him to see this thing running and hear it for the first time in 16 years and let him get behind the wheel and drive this thing he's owned this thing now for 45 years uh that's crazy that he's owned this car this long he doesn't let go of nothing he, he don't sell his stuff but it'll be good to see him driving this thing again and uh see how much he enjoys it well, we're getting closer to Paul's house now, and I really want to drive this thing up there. So we're going to unload it here in the country, and we're going to finish the drive in the car. Getting in, Ralphie? Yeah, I'm getting in on it, Dad. Oh,
a car that you have to shut the fuel off either oh get, no no it's like you're driving a, a lawnmower or something you right. know yeah it's running good it we, sounded good me and dad set the timing on it uh a week or two ago so now the it has a lot more power the first time i drove it it was like bogging when i had it in third yeah, yeah. and now it's like doing really good it has a lot more power <laughs> well, that's good well, it's christmas fall <laughs> yeah, yeah, poured water on it. Yeah, coffee on it. He said, "Yeah, he poured coffee, coffee on it." it was. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. I'm surprised that the uh, casings are staying aired up. Well, I, I didn't do it. I just kind of leaped down. I don't know. This one was a little bit low last night. We had to air it up. Uh huh. But I didn't use my bicycle pump. I you use did. I use air compressor. <laughs> I had to put my my <laughs> correct hat on to drive it, right? Yeah. You don't have much brakes, does it? No, <laughs> you have to. You have to take a while to stop. Yeah. It, it needs some. Uh, it needs some hydraulic brakes for sure. Yeah, it does. But that's what they use back then, I reckon. I don't know what they did on like steep hills and stuff. They have uh, to use the transmission, right? I probably geared it down. Yeah. We're not staying awake till midnight. No. Midnight. <laughs> I got up about six o'clock, I guess. Might, yeah. might have been five thirty-six, somewhere in there. Oh man! So that—that's what everybody was wanting. Everybody that was watching the video was wanting to put the factory wheels back on it. Yeah, oh, that yeah, looks he good. He had trouble getting those because the rims were so narrow. Yeah. And these aren't wide tires. Yeah. But uh, he sort of had Casings. trouble getting them on there, and you can see they're sort of. Yeah, yeah, there's but there. I love the way the wheels look on it. That, that's what should have. That's what should have been on it the whole time. Yeah, I wish I could have found taller ones for the back. Yeah, but I couldn't. And then I got him. Got the mirrors on it. Oh yeah, yeah, the mirrors. Yeah, it was not fun to drive without mirrors. Right. So, I've been driving so it. So he hasn't drove it. But I have. But you have. You've been yes. the good son. You've I've been, been driving, driving it. it every weekend. Good. Well, so, everybody will be happy to know it's been being driven. <laughs> Right. You're going to have to get the cattle prod on paw to get him to drive it. But those really make it look a whole lot better. Yeah, it looks awesome with those. With those, uh, those wheels and tires on it. Casings, you mean. Casings. <laughs> <laughs> so I got, I got two things for you, okay? So this is your wrench to do the timing if you ever have to time it again. It has all the instructions on it. Oh! That's what, that's what, me, and, yeah, that's what me and Dad used to time it. And then I got you an owner's manual for it. Oh! What would have came with it new to, on all the controls and what you do to start oh, it. And, that's nice. Yeah, I thought you could sit and read that. Yeah. Figure out how to drive this thing again. Well, yeah, I'm to have to drive it. <laughs> oh, you want to get in there and drive this thing? Oh, yeah, I can. 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 
getting this thing enough. How does that work? This is supposed to be the fuel gauge. How does that do anything? Because I don't see nothing going on with it. You can't see nothing? I didn't know if you knew. The light might turn on after it's like low I don't or know something. What, if you're supposed to see something there, or look, maybe it is a light. I don't I, know. I think you're supposed to see something there. I think it's like a bubble. I don't know. All right. Try again. There you go. Oh, no. There's a cherry tree out there in the house. Nice to see. 
up here, son, I'm gonna bust your butt. I started running. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> I, I ran into the back. I ran to come out here and ran to the corn field. He was behind me, of course. <laughs> and I ran out there and that cherry tree and climbed up the top of that cherry tree. <laughs> There was some fishing poles and a chimney for out there. Those things punching me out of that tree. All these people with me. I didn't do that no more. I bet you didn't. <laughs> you don't run away when they're going to whip you. No. Yeah, you'll be able to sell that, that uh, gator you got. Just use this. <laughs> it's, I love the old videos. I'm sure you've seen them. Like the Maltese going through the mud and stuff. And oh, yeah. The big ruts. I couldn't imagine going to the dealership and buying one of these new. What that experience would have been like back then. Uh, well, I'm sure the dealerships weren't uh, as fancy as they are now. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> Let me drive it. You got some ruts here. Yeah. I ordered some rock. And they, I don't know, they didn't have any, they went ahead and dropped this, and it wasn't big enough to do the job. No, she made it. No hey, problem. No problem. That, that ignition switch, you got to push in on it. It's weird. Isn't, oh, that, weird? Isn't that weird? That's weird. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, your brake works. It, it does work. That's where I messed up that truck out there. It rolled off him on dogwood trees. <laughs> it ran into the dogwood trees. Uh, well, we had a little drive. <laughs> so you want the model A closer to the house? cars that run in the same garage, right? <laughs> you almost got three. If you had a fuel pump on this. Yeah. Have you been working on the end all? Yeah, I've got I've got the old one off and, and uh and into this it's like luxury compared to because that thing you're just bouncing everywhere this car rides so smooth compared to that car oh yeah it made a big difference between 1928 and 1942 when when me and the kids were driving that one on my road it was like i couldn't you watch the old like bonnie and clyde movie it's like how'd they ever run from the police in those cars because they handle terrible they stop terrible they have no power it's like, how did they ever run from the police? I guess the police had the same cars. Yeah, so. same cars. Yeah, same. Of course, Bonnie and Clyde didn't have the V8 Fords. Oh, yeah, they you didn't. You sell your car, and you're going to be driving Model A now to church. It's full of manure. To Walmart. <laughs> manure. Do I need to hit, I like, I, I, I like button plus to subscribe. You need to do it all. So, like, <laughs> the like, the thumbs up thing is just you like the video. That's okay. all it does. If you click subscribe, that means they'll notify you when I put out a new video, is all that means. So subscribing oh. means they'll send you a notification saying, hey, Sleeper Dudes put out a new video. Okay. So most people say like, comment, subscribe. So below the video, if you want to say something, you can click on the comments and you can type in, hey, good video, or, or you're terrible, or whatever. Well, that went well. The car did great. 
got it parked in there for Pa, so he can uh, he can drive it. We need to let him know that he has to drive that thing. But I had a really good time getting to see my grandpa. I don't get to see him enough because he's like two hours away, but. We made it back home. Rocky's back. Well, guys, that was fun, you know. I really enjoyed getting to see my grandpa. I don't get to see him enough. Oh, your RC color blew up. Well, imagine that. <laughs> but uh, I really enjoyed it. We had a great time with them. I wish I got to see him more often. Uh, hopefully, he drives that thing, you know. But you can check us out on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at SleeperDude88. Pour one out for your homies, guys. And we got bourbon barbecue today. That's the good stuff. It doesn't get much better than that. What? Oh, you want one? But uh, keep watching us, guys. We got all kinds of project vehicles. Here you go. If you look below, there's a, there's a, our merchandise, or you can click on our username, then click on the store button and get to it that way. We're gonna try to get started on the, you know, the Dodge Darts and do some more work to the F100. Uh, so there'll be plenty of videos to come. And you guys know subscribing's free, right? <laughs> you do know that, right? Ellie really wants one. Here you go. Okay, you got one. She's a little aggressive. Do you like Vanyas that much? Come by, Rocky. <laughs> come by. Say, see you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Come on.